but uh, how about uh, do some do some little character introductions? Let's, who's who's going to be playing who? Let's let's do a little recap. We'll we'll talk about what's going on here. Right. Yeah. Well, so, uh, Chad, what's your uh, understanding of the premise of our story so far? Uh, my my vague understanding of the story as it stands so far, as it's been handed over to me, is uh, you are a team of former pizza shop employees uh, turned uh, amateur level Ghostbusters uh, after what some would be con considered, what some people would consider a semi successful uh, excursion in uh, your first ghost busting attempt moving a uh, ghost that was haunting a toilet uh, to now hunting an ice cream freezer. So, you know, uh, change in life. And uh, that, that's my understanding so far. But uh, let me know if I've got anything wrong. I think you nailed it. Sounds super accurate. Sounds like exactly how I relate it to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I guess uh, maybe I'll start then. Um, I the, the character that I retrieved from the depths of the YouTube channel, uh, Born Under Punch's channel, is Junkie Trevor. Uh, they, them pronouns for Junkie Trevor. Please and thank you. Uh, they look like uh, a slight a slight figure with uh, multiple hats on or multiple visor hats the ones without the top part just the two visors one stacked or like kind of like a, a florida sort of deer stalker like a front and a back visor and uh their special talent is that they're very handy at fixing things that's where the junkie uh title came from oh like as like working in a junkyard not being addicted to smack uh <laughs> yes more so the that first one the former okay. please uh, uh, and uh okay. other special talents uh flexible and bouncy oh that is junkie trevor all right all right my next yeah yep all right, this is going to be a wonderful comeuppance because uh, as much as I gave Paige a hard time for losing her character sheet in the <laughs> two months or so since we uh, last visited this uh, wonderful, fantastical world of Vermilion, uh, I uh, have re suddenly remembered that I have my sheet in front of me and I cannot remember exactly how I did my character's voice. So uh, yeah, this will be a learning on our feed experience. But uh, my character's name is Longfellow Sandwich. He's wayfish and pale. He's known as Dagwood to his friends, which is none of his co-workers at the pizza shop. Uh, he's a descendant of the famed Earl of Sandwich. His family was ushered out of the UK after being part of the hit they, the royal family laid on Princess Diana. And uh, now estranged from his family, he's been locked out of his inheritance and is uh, trying to make his own way out here in Vermilion as a pizza man turns ghost hunter. All right, how about you, uh, Tisela? Um, my name is Crella Maria. Uh, I'm 30. Uh, some kind of like a mix of Eva Longoria, Salma Hayek, Sofia Vergara in a five feet four. Um, so uh, my first marriage was uh, 17. And now I think I fall into the pizza place Ghostbusters thing because I think my ex-husband's ghosts, the many ones, are 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 scaring my Tinder dates away. So it's like a black <laughs> widow. Black widow kind of thing here. I, I have my personification ready. Amazing. Costume uh, change. Oh you have a costume. Oh this is, oh, this is great. I do not have visors, dang it. Uh, quick question, did you murder these husbands or is that not for us to know? I cannot accept or deny anything. I play the fifth. Ah. All, all we know <laughs> is they were killed in a terrible passion and became ghosts. Very, very unfortunate accidents. All right. 
Okay, um, so wait, so you're a customer at our business, not an, not an employee? Correct. All right. All right. Um, well, uh, so... Sorry, and real quick, did your character, uh, Gisela, have a, uh, a unique talent that you picked? Yes. Amazing cocktail mix. Oh, fabulous. Nothing related to the days of my husband's. Nothing related. <laughs> mm. All right, and uh, I mine, which I now have learned, I need to clarify. Uh, I have an extremely superhuman schmoozing capacity, uh, which means that uh, whenever I'm trying to charm somebody who considers himself high status, I'm really good at sucking up to them. So hopefully that comes in handy today. Well, hopefully. Um... Well, I, I think I think since uh, there's we've got a customer here, uh, we should uh, lead things off here at the uh, pizza shop uh, slash Ghostbusters headquarters. Um, All right, Grisella, so, I want to put your character's name in here. What's your what's your character's full name? Cruella Maria. So like Cruella, like the Disney character. Correct. All right, like that. Perfect. Cool. All right, sorry, Ted, go ahead. That's all good. Uh, so, uh, Cruella, you find yourself uh, outside the pizza shop slash Ghostbustering headquarters. Uh, I'm, I don't do, have you guys got a sign up yet? I or do is believe, it still pizza? yeah, I do believe last, uh, last time we were here actually that Junkie Trevor uh, made a sort of, you know, collage, letter collage sign, a sort of, um, Serial killer esque, other signs, yeah, like, like instead yeah. Of magazine books. It was like a church sign. Uh, oh, it could be a sign. I was thinking like, letters. yeah, front cover letters, like the bigger letters, of course. Uh, and that's just kind of like ramshackle put together. Yeah, and it has our company name on it, like so. You see on the screen, ah. Raytheon. Raytheon. All right, so uh, yes, yeah, so if you're outside of the Raytheon slash pizza headquarters, you see this spectacular junkie-based sign that Junkie Trevor's made up. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, are you going to head straight in? Uh, effectively, you get to take it from here. You are the customer. I think I, I, I need to get this figured out because I need to find my next victim husband. So, so and they're looking, scaring, they're, they're, they're being scaring right away. Now? Okay, so you need you need to get the ghosts stopped so you can find a new victim to make more ghosts. Husband, husband, let's call him husband. A new okay, okay. So you need to scare away your current ex husband's ghost to get a new husband to possibly later become an ex husband, possibly even a ghost. Yeah, maybe. Let's go with that. All right, all right. Well, uh, here you are at the at the place place to be, uh, Junkie Trevor Longfellow. Where where are you guys inside? I'm gonna be in the back, like where the make like pizza making happened, but I'm yeah. gonna be like banging around, clang clang banging, moving stuff, making things. All right. Uh, I'm at the side window, which uh, we've recently cleaned and. Now I realize that there's a view outside of this window and I have been trying to find whatever's laying around the shop so I can jury rig some sort of like, you know, poor man's binoculars or something so I can spy on our neighbor across the street with huge cans. <laughs> All right, Cruella, this is, uh, this is what you see before you as you enter their shop. Uh, and I'll, I'll pass it over to you guys to have your first interaction. I suppose you'd be uh, in, see Longfellow first and hear Junkie Trevor in the back. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'll let you let you say something to them. Or If you're not comfortable with using your own character's voice, you can narrate it for the time being. Feel free to. Okay. Oh my god. I need some help. I hope you guys can help me. Uh, I need to get rid of some ghosts. So somebody told me that this is a place. Can somebody help me please? So to, before I decide if I'm turning around from this window, uh, I'm wondering, Ted, if you can tell me whether or not I've, like, what am I seeing out the window? Is the neighbor there? Is she in her yard? Is she, is she in her yoga outfit? 
Uh, well, I've, I've got a map of Vermilion up on my screen here. And uh, the first pizza place I saw was this uh, Boston Pizza. So uh, you're, you're, you're actually viewing straight into the uh, Masterpiece Therapies, Inc., the Art of Physio. Um, so, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's about, it's about 11 o'clock. So th there's a, there's a, there's a pre-lunch crowd in the, the physio studio. Uh, one, one of your, your favorite trainer. Uh, you, you gotta get that pre-lunch physio in. Your favorite trainer is working in the usual spot by the window. Um, uh, dressed professionally for the job she has, uh, whether you're ogling her, uh, or not, uh, I will, I will leave that to you. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to continue staring at the window, and I'm kind of like motion behind me towards the person to come in and be like, hey, yeah, that's that's us. We'll, we'll help. But I say that in the correct voice of my character. <laughs> All right, um, I hear so a commotion between my bangings and uh, realize that there is somebody out front and come running out front and be like, oh, hello, hello. Uh, welcome to Raytheon uh incorpor incorporated not sure about that one um welcome what may we help you with uh dear customer okay so i have to confess that some of my ex-husbands that i didn't murder of course that was just a bad coincidence that all of them happened of the same reason but it was not me um but now they're hunting me and they're blocking me from getting my next husband. And I know like Vermilion doesn't have the best Tinder dates ever. So being all of them scared, I'm already running low on numbers. So I need some help, urgent help. Urgent help. We can do that for you, Miss uh, or Mr. Um, I'm sorry, what is your name? Cruella. Cruella Maria. Cruella. Cruella Maria, we are here for you and your ghost needs at Raytheon. Uh, let me consult my partner. Um, hey, Longfellow. And I grab his shoulder and kind of like jiggle, jiggle. Yeah, I wheel around to have a peek. And uh, for, first thing I'm going to check for is, uh, does, does this new person in our store have huge cans? Cruella, do you have huge cans? I only drink a pumpkin spice latte tall. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's the best possible answer that we So have. she comes in holding a pumpkin spice latte, and uh, and the the reality is that I am a huge sucker for um, a woman with a pumpkin spice latte. So like my pupils turn into like little hearts, but I try to like blink it off. So no one notices. And, uh, I, I clear my throat cause there was something in my throat before. And I go, <clears throat> Oh yeah, lady, we'll, we'll help you with whatever, whatever you need. Sorry. Sorry. There was, there was something in my throat before. It sounds suspiciously like <laughs> angina. <laughs> No, no, no! I... Now I'm gonna do it. <laughs> oh no, I don't have any. I don't have any heart conditions. I just, you know, sometimes when I don't talk for a while, I, my, uh, my throat gets all funny. But yeah, this is, uh, this is how I sound. This is how I've always sounded. Jeez, long. How are you doing? How long, how long were you at that window for? Let me tell you, Trevor. I'm just gonna say this. It's been a long time, and okay. I mean that in many ways. Well, we know we know that uh, Cruella here needs our help, Longfellow. Uh, there's a ghost problem. They've been haunting this poor lady, and uh, she hasn't been able to get a date, as far as I can tell. And he hearing that part especially, uh, yeah, my ears perk up, and I kind of clear my throat again. <clears throat> oh, yeah, 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 we can help you. Yeah, that's for sure. We're just... Uh... We're just a couple of people helping folks, and uh, well, don't worry, we'll take care of it. You just follow us. Uh, why, don't, why don't you step into the office and check out the paperwork? We have paperwork. Uh, as as he begins rambling on, uh, you can hear Cruella. Your uh, your Tinder notification actually goes off. 
So uh, you look, you look down, and uh, you you have been uh, Tinder matched with a man whose name is going to be revealed. Or, no, oh, not a man. No, um, you have been matched with Sarah Salvador. Ted, are you just looking at your Tinder right now to get names for these matches? <laughs> No, I got, I got, I got. Oh wow! NPC cards. Look at That's NPC. so fucking fancy. Holy shit! Oh, yeah. oh, Prepared. Yeah, I, got, I got in insight cards just in case you guys need, you know, promos oh, for stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, I got. God. It. I thought I was prepared because I brought dice. Like, oh my, <laughs> getting shown uh, up here. Yeah, yeah. So you you have matched you have matched with uh, Sarah Salvador, uh, and uh, by their profile, uh, you can see that they're somewhat squat in their looking uh good jaw good strong jawline um but you do notice that they're slightly transparent perhaps in their in their photos um so that that's who you've just matched with so do with that information what you will do we have any insight on their bank account <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I think, uh, um, well, looking through their pictures, uh, you can, you can tell that, uh, Sarah Salvador definitely works with their hands. Um, so at first, at first your, your initial thought may be, oh, they're just manual labor, but then you start to realize in the background of every single one of their pictures, everything's perfectly maintained. The, the grain in the wood on their staircase all follows the same line. Uh, you see any in the background. You see a few pictures with the with their outlets and light switches, and all the uh, the uh, nuts and screws are all perfectly aligned. Everything is 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 immaculate in detail. And and you you've you've had a few husbands, so you know you know how much good home renovations cost. So you know that this person is either rich in skill or rich in uh, in wealth and knows who to hire. I sidle over and I kind of like peer at the phone over her shoulder and I go, "Oh yeah, you know, <clears throat> oh yeah, you know what? Those uh, those look like show homes to me. That's all Instagram fakery, you know. It's just I bet you, I bet you they were in that place once and got kicked out for taking selfies. And then I like walk off to go drink water because trying to make my voice low hurts like a lot. <laughs> Uh, Junkie Trevor, do you have any anything to add to this? Oh yeah, well, okay. So I, I'm, I'm thinking to myself. I'm, I'm rubbing my chin to myself, sorta, and then think of something like, "Hey, Cruella, uh, you think we should maybe lure these ghosts so, so we could, you know, see them, see them at work. You can get them all in one spot again. Maybe we can, you know, nab them or something. So, like a date? Do they all show up on a date? They all show up at my house. How do they? Oh. Well, it was formerly their house. So how do you kick a toes from their house? That is now my house. Mm. So that's that's the thing. You're the experts. R right. Yes. Yes. So I I grab the paperwork from the office and say, Oh, we'll do this on the <clears throat> we'll, we'll do this on the way, ma'am. Let's all just uh let's all just pile into the ghost van and let's get going. Why why don't why don't you sit up front and I like open the front door for her, like a huge nerd. And I go run around to the driver's seat really quickly while he's opening the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just grabbing my pumpkin spice latte and let me <laughs> right. wonder, flow into the car. Uh, as I see Junkie Trevor go and try to steal the um, the driver's seat once it's you. open, well, I'm gonna I want to open the passenger door, <laughs> but then run around the car and try to like. You know, like two like teenage brothers trying to vie for the shotgun seat. I want to try and like push Junkie Trevor out of the way so that I can get into the driver's seat. All right, let's have a let's have a little uh, quick let's, let's let's get some dice rolled here real quick. Keep in mind that I my special one of my special talents is that I'm bouncy. Yeah. One of your special yeah. talents. How many do you have? Flexible, bouncy, and handy. I don't know if that's allowed. All right. Well, it I only was... wrote down handy, so we'll see how it plays out. <laughs> Rick! <laughs> um, well, uh, simple contest of strength. Uh, D6 versus D6. Uh, use your body modifier. Oh, just what? We're just rolling one? 
Yeah, you just uh, yeah, roll two. You're rolling against each other. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Four with the with the modifier. Four with two, the modifier. Two yeah. dice roll. Two dice rolls. What? Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, you get, I'm still trying to remember these rolls. Yeah, two dice rolls. Plus, it's still four. Just roll the other one. No, nine. Uh, ten. It's ten. Sorry. It's oh, ten. Fuck off. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hold on. There's still hope. <laughs> no, just the five. I win. <laughs> uh, Longfellow, you're sitting in the back. Oh um, man. Yeah, uh, Junkie Trevor, tell me how you get Longfellow uh, off off that seat there. What, what, how does this altercation happen? Well, since I'm so bouncy, I um, I ricochet myself off of Longfellow. I actually just run into him and use the trajectory to bounce into the seat and close the door, catching his sleeve. So I have to reopen the door and then get him to yeah. get in the back. Uh, and dur during this altercation there, Cruella, you uh, you get a follow-up text uh, from uh, your transparent Tinder uh, person. It's just an opening text. It's, uh, it's hey, with a little ghost emoticon. Well, Spooky. we don't discriminate in here, as long as the bank account has a couple zeros on it. So I'm just going to respond um, and say... Um, when can we meet? I have never even done Tinder, so I don't know how this works. <laughs> Getting it done. Getting it done right away. Yeah, you know I mean, what you want, Corolla. So this where, is great. Where, where do we meet? And so I'm trying to, like, um, arrange, like, the next day because, well, we all know that somebody needs to pay the bills, so we need a new husband. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Well, you start driving along. Everybody's in the van. You're starting your little conversation with uh, with this person here. Gentle Trevor's the, got a heavy foot. I'm in the back uh, commenting on the number of zeros in my bank account, but I'm definitely <laughs> including the ones after the decimal point. There's millions after the decimal point. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah. I got, <clears throat> I got, oh, yeah. That's at least six zeros here. But, like, he's definitely looking at the fact that he has, like, two different accounts, and they both say 0. 0.00. So... But he's not lying, is he? He's not lying. Technically, he's not lying. Um, uh, just as you guys begin to uh, pull up to the house, uh, Corella, you get a, a follow-up text from uh, Sarah that says, Your haunt or mine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think she's now this into something. This guy's slogans. So, um, this is starting to worry me because I'm starting to think that my ex-husband had hijacked or like virus my Tinder app, and now they have something going on there. Now they're teaming up against me. Can uh, does Junkie Trevor notice anything? Is there like because I'm in the front seat with Cruella, so do I? Do I notice uh, her like realizing something's wrong when she's on her phone? I show you. Uh, You're, are you going to show me? Yeah. It's like something is up. Something's okay. up. Well, oh, just a little I... like table talk here, but did did um, Corella and Maria go from like getting a match notification on Tinder to meeting up at their house in like 10 minutes or so? Is that kind of. They, they've been very forward. Cool. Chrisella, you want to just give me some lessons after the show? We'll just we'll talk about it later, but. <laughs> You will ask to curl, you will have to ask to curl Maria. She's the expert. Mm. Yeah. No kidding. Sure. Okay. So I see. I guess I see the whole the all the whole message and and see the little mini profile. Whatever you show me, Cruella. Yeah, it's it's starting to be concerning. I think my husbands have already uh, infiltrated into my phone. You see what I'm dealing with? You see, this is urgent. We need to this, get them out of here. I mean, it seems like it's pretty urgent. You're meeting up fairly soon. That's, that's, I mean, you are a lady who knows what she wants. I can see that now. Um, but what's concerning you? What you? I see that they're talking like haunt and a ghost emoji. Is that, is that your concern? 
Well, I cannot deal myself with them. Like, what if I broke a nail? Like, right. I cannot do that. Mm. I need help. Right. While they're doing this, I go like around the house, just kind of sneaking off to see if any of the any of the house's windows open from the outside. Um. So as you're going and starting to check check the windows, um, you know, first no no success on on the easily accessible windows, but you can see there's, there's a couple of those like little skinny uh, transom windows above stuff that you know nobody ever remembers to lock. You're not going to go get a chair to lock your window every night. You, you know, one one of them you see open. It, it's quite quite narrow though. It's only about eight inches. Ooh. Well, I am wayfish, so am I wayfish enough to fit through this window? Uh, well, you know, I think I think we could roll to find roll roll to check wayfishness. Wayfishness. Okay. Uh, yeah. Is this uh, is this the body roll? I think it's a body roll to see if you can fit through this window, and I'm really excited for this. Okay, so now I got I got an important question here because my body is minus one because I'm so wayfish, but do I get like a plus one because i'm trying to use my weakness to my advantage yes yes in this in this case i i would absolutely allow your plus one or your minus one to be magically transformed into a plus one so Hell would yeah. the, this like negative be turned into like positive with a low number lower number be the positive or in in this in a situation where it would be advantageous to be wayfish or light yes i i, w I will allow a lower number to be better in your consideration because you've made that an aspect of your character. Okay, but so I'm going to be as, minus as a, one, but I want a low number. Yeah, if if that's what you're going for, but I'm not going to make it like I don't want I don't want skinny people to just be able to jam themselves through doorways easier. That seems unfair. All right. Well, you tell me what I'm rolling and what my modifier is going to be. Uh, you're rolling a, a body roll with a uh, modifier of plus one. Okay, plus one. So I still want a high number. You, you, yeah, you're trying to roll a high number for a success. Okay. You're getting a plus one. This matters because I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm throwing the dice in a certain way, you know, trying to get high numbers. No, you got it. Very important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, so, wait, I get, I get the plus one? You get the plus one. All right, then I got a 12. You got a 12. Woo! Wow. Well, yeah, you, uh, like, you slither right in there like some kind of freakish human snake. Mm -hmm. or, um, that's me. You know, that's how we like, rules, lawyer. Ever seen that episode of the X Files with the the stretchy dude? Mm, no, no. Yeah. Um, I don't remember his name. Subwitch. It's like a sandwich, like a, a sub instead of a snake. He's a long fellow. Anyway, <laughs> he's a long fellow. And he's, he's a long fellow. Um, anyway, uh, Cruella. While this is happening, uh. Would you say you're really distracted by your phone, or are you kind of looking around trying to see if you can spot ghosts? Uh, where is your kind of vision? Vision. I'm separate? gonna say like, oh my god, this this has something with windows. The door is open. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, Junkie Trevor, do you want to go in in the main door? Uh, uh huh. I think. I think that I'm still investigating the phone. Like I still okay. have Corella's phone, like like just still on the message page, just trying to decipher something out of the messages. Cause if okay. she's so concerned, I seem I'm I seem convinced that this is a tire entirely reasonable message uh exchange that's happening and I don't see anything weird about it. Uh let's go for a, a psyche role then, uh to use oh, your geez. intuition. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what is my psyche? What did I change it to? Okay. Uh -oh. And Ted, I do want to take a moment to appreciate that you pronounced the word psyche correctly, which is uh, apparently difficult, but you did it. Oh, is that fair enough? That's 2d6 again, right? Yes, correct. Oh, I got a 10 with the minus one modifier. Okay. Uh, so that is. Oh, actually, hold on. Is that a ween? I was supposed to. Uh, uh, Longfellow, you have a bonus we're going to use later that I forgot to give you on your roll. But, uh, so I don't know why, but I will not complain. Uh, just because of the high enough roll. Um, Junkie Trevor, you you are you are successful. 
uh, you've looked through this phone, and uh, yeah, the, the messages are totally normal, but as you look through the pictures, uh, you realize uh, in all the mirror selfies, they're not actually selfies taken of the mirror. Uh, they're selfies taken of oneself in front of the mirror, and you can see that in the mirror, it's just a phone in the air. There's not actually a person there. So they're either some kind of non-reflective ghost or possibly a vampire. Uh, definitely something from the spectral plane. Oh, well. dear. And so I raise the alarm, ring the bell, and run over to Cruella to inform her of my discovery. And be like, hey, 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 look at this. Uh, this is weird. And I point it out what I found. Oh, my God. Can it be a vampire? Like, suck it, vampire. <laughs> <laughs> well, to, to be honest, Cruella, I've never actually uh, run into a vampire before. Uh, my experience is entirely with the toilet ghost, so this is all new to me. <laughs> we may even have to revamp our whole business. <laughs> the easier place is the ghost. The day later is the vampire. We can deal with that later. I mean, those guys are immortal, I hear. The house is full of ghosts. Like, if you go upstairs, you will, like, you will hear the voices all night. Yeah, that's a pretty big turn off, I guess. I'm, I'm not going <laughs> upstairs by myself. You go ahead. Oh, all right, all right, okay. Deal with a vampire later, I guess. I'm running upstairs. Uh, so, Longfellow, you see Junkie Trevor start heading upstairs in front of you. Uh, and because of your bonus from when you slithered through that window earlier, uh, you can hear what sounds like uh, chains rattling upstairs. So I didn't even like land in a different room. It just landed like... Oh, you just slithered through the window. You're in another side. It's an it's an open concept house. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's it's modern. It's nice. They they used to have a mud room, but they they knocked through the wall on that. So you kind of slithered into the living room. It's nice. It's got it's got like a big sectional wrapping around the corner. One of those glass coffee tables. Um, with, uh, the coffee table book from Seinfeld on it. That's also just a smaller coffee table. Uh, which is kind of weird because you've never seen that in print, but yeah, it, it is there. Um, you know, kitchen, kitchen's to your right. Uh, you don't see a dining room, um, but, you know, you don't see the whole house either. All right, well, I dust myself off from the window, and I kind of just step over the couch with my shoes on, and then I kind of start, like, racing upstairs because I'm confident that I'm going to be the one to solve the mystery this time. Uh, all right, uh, Cruella, are you following them upstairs? Are you going with them, or are you not going upstairs at all? Not going upstairs at all. I'm not that dumb. All right. <laughs> uh, so let's let's also give you uh, an actual kind of a psyche role here. Um, just just we're we're gonna go for the luck luck portion of the psyche role. So let's. Uh, you're going to roll two uh, d6 and add your psyche modifier. And um, let how, me know what that so, is. So then, can I say how much is my psyche so you guys can guide oh, yeah. me? Okay, yes. so my psyche is three because she's not the smartest piece, but she's very lucky. <laughs> so so you, you have plus three to your psyche. Yes, but and minus one. And you have minus one to the others? Yes. Oh, hell yeah. Excellent. Nice. All, right. All right. Perfect. Perfect. So that's why she's not the smartest, but she's pretty lucky. So she's been able to do all of this without being caught, without anything, but she's not the smartest. So, uh, so now I roll and depending yeah, what your, number. Yeah. You roll your 2d6 and you're going to add three to that. Okay. Oh, you see? 12. <laughs> So you, so you rolled a 12 uh, plus the 3 on top of that. Yes, 15. Okay. Oh, oh shit. wow. Oh, okay. Holy cow. <laughs> I say I was lucky. Well, well, yeah. yeah. She just solves the mystery instantly. <laughs> All of the ghosts fly out of the house. And we're done. Have a good night, everybody.
and a vampire um, just ate some yeah. garlic by accident. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> it, just, it, it just melted. No, yeah. it keeps going. Um, but uh, what does happen from this is as, as you watch uh, these two bumbling amateur uh, ghost sleuths start climbing over each other, racing up the stairs in an attempt to impress you, you, you feel a familiar presence and you smell a familiar smell behind you and, and you wheel around and it's your, not your most recent uh, spectral ex-husband. He's about three husbands back. Um, he, was, he was a pretty good one. He was a pretty good one. Uh, lower bank account than most, better dude than most, though. Aww. So, like, he's standing there. He's got he's got a spectral bouquet of your favorite flowers, although they are ghost flowers, so he can't really give them to you. Um, and and he's, he's just there, and he says, Oh, I, I've, I've missed you, and I've grown so old in the spectral plane. <laughs> uh, I met some of... Some of your other husbands there, and I just, I, I wanted to, we all wanted to see you always uh, such a party to be around. Uh, please, please don't, don't leave us. Johnny, I have told you many, many times that I don't like all guys. I like your bank account, but not you. Like, come on. So can you talk to your ex-husband my ex-husband ex-friends now you ghost friends to get out of my house please well well you see the trouble with that is that there's a lot of us who are still technically on the deed <laughs> so when, when, when we went to the bank to get the mortgage payments done for the home you know i i took on that responsibility to care for you but I did end up on on the lease. Like I'm, I'm still technically a tenant. We we all are. There, there's processes for this, like eviction processes you'll need to go through. Um, Guys, hey, you long sandwich, <laughs> and <laughs> yes, Yankee that's Trevor. Me. <laughs> you need to have a conversation with Johnny. This is the guy that I mean. Like, and he's talking about all his friends living in my house. So we're oh, oh yeah. Are so, you yelling at we're at the top of the stairs then? And and yeah. she's yelling up to us and we and just got the there and we're like stairs, yeah. <sighs> I the moment she starts calling us down, I immediately sprint back down the stairs. And, and I trip and... him. <laughs> Dude, are you are you actually? Yeah. All Can right, I roll right. opposing to not be tripped, or does she just get yes. like the element of surprise? Um Ooh. No, I don't think we're going to go with elements of surprise. That's too complicated. As no, we were just fighting to get up the stairs, and so... No, this is, this is a standard... It's expected. Like, yeah, you're fighting to get in the car, you're fighting up and down the stairs, you know what's happening. Oh, boy. Uh, it's I body got, body roll? I, yeah, I got body a roll. four. Oh, I got a nine with modifier. Well, uh, the, the, the truth of the matter is, Long, Longfellow, you do make it to the bottom of the stairs first. Let me put it that <laughs> you you absolutely make it to the bottom of the stairs at, at neck break speed, one might say. Um, although yeah. luckily narrowly avoiding breaking your neck. And Any landing you can walk away from, you know? Not ending up a specter of your own. Uh, and as you lay there and look up... Uh, oh, yes, uh, you nearly became a new friend of ours there, young man. <laughs> I, I put my thumbs up in the air, and I'm like, oh, that's cool, I'm cool, everything's cool, <clears throat> everything's great. And uh, it, as, a, as a side note, just uh, for you, Grisella, did, did your character also take off her cool hat and glasses, or was that just you? You're that's inside. A... You take off your hat when you go inside. You uh, never take off just... your sunglasses. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, so you're... I couldn't see the screen if I were oh, to <laughs> I was enjoying. Reasons. I was enjoying the cool hat. So, um, so I I reach into my pocket because, as I was saying earlier, I you know I brought the paperwork with us, and so I I have like my little like folder of paperwork that I carry around. And what I've been doing to kind of avoid our, you know, our creditors and our angry former customers is I've been doing a lot of forgery. So I kind of produce the paperwork and I. 
Um, I say, Krilla, Krilla, I've got an idea. I'm just walking. Krilla, I got an idea. Oh, and I'm I'm getting like very faint because I'm in pain. <laughs> I'm um, I'm I'm walking towards like we're like in the entry entrance kind of thing but then we're walk I'm walking towards like the living room kitchen and there's there's like this little car with filled with like cool bottles like you know the crystal bottle with liquor and all this mixes and things like that. So it's like I'm gonna make the best recipe for pain. So you will be pristine. Well I can look to your papers there. So I'm starting to shake something here. Oh, okay, so you're you're mix, mixing up a drink to dull the pain from this injury down the stairs, and and you're also going to take a look at the paperwork. Is that my understanding? Yeah. So, is your intent to get Longfellow a little bit uh, a little bit drunk off this drink? Is kind of plan or depending what we find in the papers. All right. Um, well, you you mix them up a drink, and you've got the papers in your hand. Uh, and I guess since you're looking through documents, we're going to need a, another a psyche roll uh, to examine those there documents. It's not more of an understanding. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. That's very correct. Sorry. Much more of an understanding roll, not a psyche roll. Sorry psyche to back backseat GM. No, no, you're right. I'm still, uh, still learning. These. I don't know why I made a point of it. I'm pretty sure both of hers are minus one. No, her psyche oh, is plus two. No, the oh, psyche right. is plus that's three. Right. Yeah, it's a very, yeah, that's a different big distinction. Take that, teammate. I'm not going to let you have a, <laughs> any success here. Amazing. Uh, yeah. So let's see how well you can uh, decipher those papers. So then it's my, against mine. Yes, you're rolling for understanding. So I believe you have a minus one to your understanding. So you're going to roll two d six minus one. <laughs> Four. So minus uh -oh. one is three. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> is a, they're definitely paper. Uh, you've made you've made a great drink, and it's a strong drink. Longfellow's <laughs> enjoying it, uh, but you are leafing through the papers. But as far as you can tell, they are definitely made of paper. Uh, you've got a strong suspicion there's ink on one side. Uh, but you cannot confirm or deny that. All you know is they're definitely all paper. I just give them back to you. Uh, food long sandwich. And, mm. uh, <laughs> that's, that's his porn name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And, foot, and, and <laughs> foot, foot long, all right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the rumors are, rumors are true. Uh, so in, in your forged documents, uh, Longfellow, you do happen to have a, uh, eviction notice that you had prepared in the case that the pizza shop would be served its own eviction notice. So you could say, we've already been served an eviction. You can't serve us a second eviction. Tie it up in courts for double hours. jeopardy. Yeah. It's, it's, you're, you're going for a double jeopardy plot. So you do have... Uh, eviction paperwork previously forged. Well, that's a way better idea than uh, what I thought Longfellow's plan was, and I thought his plan was to just forge a different deed. But I like I like <laughs> that uh, argument even better. I mean, you Longfellow might still just think I'm going to forge a different deed because I need this eviction note just in case <laughs> we get evicted from the pizza place. <laughs> Uh, it is just an asset you have. Let's call it that. <laughs> All right. I um, is an asset man. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, and then uh, so I look at the two of them and I decide that I do want to hold on to that eviction plan for later. So I uh, let it go to the floor, which means I'm dropping asset, and I <laughs> <laughs> and I, uh, I hang on to the. Uh, the fake deed, and I start trying to tr like transcribe the details from this house so that I can um, I can basically write the. Uh, actually, wait, I want to I want to can I have a look around to see if I can find the actual deed to this house and just like use my original one as a reference and use my little like whiteout and pen to try to just like 
take the actual deed that probably has a seal and shit and just write the ghosts out of it. So are, are you trying to do this, like, stealthily without anyone seeing you, or are you just trying to successfully locate the deed, and then you're just going to, like, hunker down on the coffee table and fill that bad boy out? Um, I... I, uh... What I do is I note my um, asset that I dropped, and I say, Oh, Junkie Trevor, can you... <clears throat> Junk, Junkie Trevor, why don't you pick that up for me? My, my back's a little sore. From, from, my neck's a little sore from going down the stairs. Uh, I, 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 I'm going to have to let Junkie Trevor know that you did just drink that amazing glass of alcohol that was specifically mixed to alleviate your pain. So just in case Junkie Trevor wants to make you pick that bad boy up yourself. That was like meta gaming to me. Like, oh. It is a little bit. It is a little <laughs> bit. I'm com I'm 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 parting the kimono here. I'm bringing it. <laughs> parting the kimono. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but I've, I've been waiting for your kimono to part all night. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so I actually I missed that because I was writing a comment. So what was I supposed to do? What someone asked me to do? <laughs> I, I'm trying to I I tried to get you to come over and uh, and and bend over to pick up the uh, the paper that I dropped. Nice. Um, the assets, yes. Uh, so I'm coming down the stairs. I finally reached the bottom. I sauntered down nice and slow. Um, reached the bottom, and I see the ghost, and I go over to the ghost immediately, and I am not listening to Longfellow Sandwich. Well, then, in that case, my answer to the original question is that I just picked, um, I picked that paper back up, and, uh, while Junkie Trevor is distracting the ghost, I want to like sneak into the study or something to see if I can find the actual deed to kind of like assist in my forgery. All right, uh, you're off to the study. Uh, Junkie Trevor, you're up to the ghost. Uh, Cruella, are you just mixing your own drink now? Or are you are you watching <laughs> watching Longfellow go to the study? Are you arguing with Spectral Johnny? I'm just. Sipping my pumpkin spice latte and walk walking behind the the experts, just waiting when the Lady Liberty will show up. Ah, uh, right. Mm. Yeah, wait, waiting for them to do their ding dang jobs. Um, <laughs> Trying. <laughs> uh, so, Junkie Trevor, yeah, you're standing in front of uh, Ghost Johnny there. So I um I test if I can like push him out the door because he's. Uh, is he standing right in front of the door? I did, like, standing... not forcefully, but just, like, slowly and, like, he sees me trying to do this to him. Uh, yeah, so, so, uh, he sees you trying to do that and your hands pass right through him and he says, uh, I might suggest, uh, if you're trying to move me, if I'm blocking the view, uh, if I can't, if I'm not paying attention, uh, a small fan, a little breeze will help move me out of the way. Oh my goodness, what a great idea. Thank you, Mr. Ghost. Um, Longfellow sits there and wonders why we didn't bring our co-worker who has a ghost for a hand that can touch ghosts, but then he gets back to his work. Demi's on vacation, let her have this. Okay, um, I'm going to run to the van because we, we brought our ghost hunting van and we have something in there. I'm assuming like... A desk fan that we like to plug in and put on the front of the dash because we it's a junky van junky travel van anyway it's got a bunch of stuff in it so i grab the grab the fan and try and like find a plug near to where the ghost is to to kind of like blow him out the blow him out the house all right uh Corella, do you have any input there yeah uh, as she was as she was running to the van. I'm just yelling from the door. He's like, hurry, we can blow the ghosts away! <laughs> uh, and Longfellow, you're in the study there. Um, uh, let's have... Uh, let's, uh, any any luck finding that there deed? Any Anything suspicious you see? Where are you checking? What do we got? We're looking behind pictures on the wall, false bottoms and drawers. Oh yeah, I'm looking inside the record sleeves. I'm looking in, you know, any obvious cabinets marked important documents. I'm, you know, looking inside of like an old hollowed out Bible, like wherever I can. I'm just throwing shit around. Nice. Um, let's let's get a roll for throwing shit around. 
Um, what's the best role for this? I feel like if I'm trying to problem solve, it's maybe it's understanding. understanding. Yeah. And I'm not just saying that because I think I have a plus two in understanding. I, I'm going to have to check here. <laughs> Actually, it's sucky. No. <laughs> No, no, because my character is uh, actually my entire tablet is apparently frozen. So yeah, no, I have a two understanding. Excellent. Uh, so that gives me a whopping seven altogether. Whopping to a whopping seven. Um, that is uh, that is a success, although not in the uh, exact way you expected it. Uh, the Deed is not in here, but you've you've gone through hollowed out Bibles, you've gone through record sleeves, you've gone found a few false bottom drawers. You're coming out of here with one 14 karat gold necklace with a large diamond on it. You found about five hundred dollars cash, few bearer bonds untraceable, and an old Rolex. I have immediately lost interest in the whole ghost thing, and I find just like a bag to throw the stuff in, and I try to just like saunter out the back door of the house and so I can loop around to the van. Uh, right. is, uh, as my plan is, I'm assuming, working because it was suggested by Mr. Ghostman himself. Um, uh, I have already plugged in the fan and it's on. It's blowing him out, out of whatever closest wall or door is there. And so I yell to where I think Longfellow is. I'm like, Longfellow got it all figured out. Everything makes total sense. Uh, we just gotta go out and get more fans. Uh, yeah. So uh, you've got Johnny blowing out the door, and he, he's he's trying to walk against the wind, uh, going, uh, "Hey, hey, no, I'm, I'd like to know that I'm I'm on the lease. I I'm on the lease. You have to understand." But he can't he can't get more than ten feet closer to the door. Uh, because of the power of that fan. Uh, so, Cruella, to a certain degree, uh, they are keeping a ghost out of your house. Um, so, I'm gonna turn to Cruella and be like, this is... this is the problem solver. This is... Uh, this is what we came here for. This is your solution. Uh, whenever a ghost shows up, you just gotta maybe get an extension cord, run that fan to the ghost, and blow him out the wall. So have I have I made it outside around the building yet? Uh, yes, you you are you are you are quickly approaching the van. You see you see uh, Ghost Johnny struggling against the powerful powerful wind of this home hardware fan on setting two. Um. <laughs> so okay, so I, I I just throw my bag of loot like as surreptitiously as I can into the van, and then I like just sidle up to go uh grab trevor and be or like okay yeah uh, i think i think we're done here yeah let's uh let's get let's get going trevor i'm uh, i'm hungry let's go home and have some pizza and i kind of like reach over trevor's shoulders that hand a uh, raytheon business card to cruella in case she ever wants to come back but it's one of the ones that i altered to just have my phone number on it <laughs> take, take this ma'am and i like wink at her and then i try to like pull trevor out to the van to get going uh, and I just any, like, any... oh, I'm just giving the spiel as as uh, I'm getting dragged out the door. I'm like, thank you for your service. Come back anytime to Raytheon, uh, Ghost, Gust, Ghost, Gust Busters, Gust Busters. Now, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> anytime you need your ghosts gusted or busted. Okay, thank you, ma'am, for your business. And uh, I'm out the door now. Uh. I, I still don't know what just happened. They're just like run out of, <laughs> out of my house. The ghost is just like kind of a curtain fly in the middle of the door. It's <laughs> like I'm just holding my pumpkin spine flat on my hand. It's like, where are you guys going? Like while well, the band disappears and I'm like I try I try my best to call out the window, my voice cracks and I'm like, Call me and we drive off into the sunset. <laughs> And, and as you turn around, you see that the study is entirely ripped apart. You've very clearly been robbed. Uh, <laughs> there's no attempt to cover their tracks. <laughs> However, a ghost is no longer in your house. It's outside the house. Hey. It's outside the house. <laughs> and uh, I think that is, uh, is uh, by, by standards that I understand, I believe that is successful customer service by the Raytheon group. 
That's right. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, that's the sound of success. Ooh. <laughs>